Hello, my name is Franny Miller, and I am the Pesticide Safety and Integrated Pest Management Coordinator for Kansas State University. In this module, we are focusing on pesticide user safety. It is important for you to understand how to use pesticides correctly and how to protect yourself from exposure. This is lesson two of five modules contained within the pesticide use and safety training. The focus of this module will be to learn the three single words, illustrate the common ways you can be exposed, and what personal protective equipment you should use. This module will also talk about first aid, re-entry intervals, and common environmental concerns. Signal words are found on the front of pesticide product labels. These words help alert users to specific hazards associated with the product. These words are printed in capital letters to make it easier for the user to find. Signal words indicate the relative toxicity of a product. Caution, warning, and danger are signal words which can be found on a label. The LD50 is a measure of acute toxicity that causes death in 50% of the treated animals. Chemicals are considered highly toxic when the LD50 is small and less toxic when the value is large. A product containing the signal word caution is slightly toxic if eaten, absorbed through the skin, inhaled, or causes slight eye and skin irritation. Examples of homeowner products with this signal word are Brush Me Gone, Roundup, Fungi Fighter, and Seven. Warning indicates the product is moderately toxic if eaten, absorbed through the skin, inhaled, or causes moderate eye or skin irritation. Products that have warning on their label include Dimension, Orthene, and Dacnol. A product that is highly toxic orally, dermally, or through inhalation will exhibit the signal word danger. Danger indicates a taste to a teaspoon of the product taken by mouth could result in death. Products may be corrosive, causing irreversible damage to the skin and eyes. Products exhibiting this signal word are most commonly used in agriculture production, but captan is an example of a fungicide with this signal word. Now that you have a better understanding of signal words, can you find them on these two product labels? It is important to point out that many of the common household cleaning products, such as bleach, exhibit a danger signal word due to their corrosive nature. Pesticide products that fall into the lowest toxicity category for all routes of exposure are not required to display a signal word, as is the case with the Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew label. Botanical insecticides are naturally occurring chemicals, insect toxins, extracted or derived from plants or minerals. In comparison to several homeowner products, some of the botanicals can actually be more toxic. Nicotine has the lowest LD50 of 50 to 60 milligrams per kilogram, which gives it the signal word of danger. Exposure is the total amount of pesticide that gets on or in the body. Dermal exposure is the most common type of exposure for people, since the skin is the largest organ and acts like a sponge. It is important to wear appropriate personal protective equipment to reduce the chances of exposure. Oral exposure occurs when people eat, drink, or smoke around pesticides or forget to wash after applying a pesticide. It is important to make sure you store pesticides in original label containers as some products look similar to items we drink. 
Inhalation exposure occurs when applicators breathe in vapors, gas, or fumes. A pesticide exposure can also occur when getting pesticides in the eyes, so it is important to wear protective eyewear. It is important to realize not all body parts are created equal when it comes to the rate of pesticide exposure. This chart shows the relative absorption rate compared to the genital region. It is important to realize that pesticides spilled on your hands can be moved to other body parts by scratching or itching. If you water plants in your bathtub that have been exposed to pesticides, the balls of your foot may pick up the chemical if the bathtub is not adequately washed out. The label provides information on what to do if you are accidentally exposed to the pesticide. If you seek treatment, it is important to have the product label available. Additional emergency information can be obtained by calling the toll-free number listed on the label. This insecticide label features a section containing information for physicians, so they know the best way to treat someone who has been exposed. The product Captan has a single word of danger. Here are examples of the first aid recommendations that are printed on that product label. Some homeowner product labels may have an agriculture use requirement section which lists requirements for the worker protection standard. It is important to note many products exhibit a restricted entry interval where workers should not enter treated areas until after the time period has lapsed. This label indicates to keep unprotected persons out of the treated area until the spray has dried. The label lists what personal protective equipment needs to be worn while applying the product. Most homeowner products list long sleeve shirt, long pants, shoes and socks, and chemical resistant gloves. But products can list additional personal protective equipment like goggles or face shield. Here is an example of a label that lists chemical resistant footwear and for overhead exposure, wear chemical resistant headgear. For cleaning equipment, add a chemical resistant apron to the personal protective equipment. Read the label to determine what types of personal protective equipment are required. It is important to pay attention to the user safety requirements, such as wash hands before eating, drinking, or using the toilet. This product also tells you to not allow children or pets to contact the area until the spray is dried. Based on the labels, homeowners should not be applying pesticides in shorts and flip-flops as they do not provide very much protection. Labels list environmental hazards related to the specific product. In this case, it tells you not to apply directly to water, as the product is extremely toxic to aquatic invertebrates. Seven can also lead to the death of honeybees, so it should not be applied to brooming, crops, or weeds. Even a product like Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, which has the lowest toxicity, can be toxic to bees. It is important to make sure you consult the label for environmental hazards before application. In order to reduce exposure to bees and other pollinators, it is important to avoid spraying areas with flowers or trees in bloom. If you need to spray, then do so early in the morning or late evening after the bees have returned to the hive and flowers have closed. Make sure to directly spray the targeted plants. It is also important to limit the amount of drift of insecticides and choose a product that is the least toxic to bees and pollinators.